For those of you listening on YouTube, this is going to be a very boring video. Let's get to the next one. So today we're going to talk about just the syllabus and go through that. Okay. If you have any questions, ask me. Okay. One thing I like to do in the class is have a very interactive class. Okay. So if you have questions, stop, interrupt me. That's good. Um, if you disagree with me, that's excellent. Talk, let's, let's talk about it. Okay. Um, at this level of science, what you should be doing is being very critical. Everything I present, you should be like, hmm, but what about, you know, peacock spiders? What about this weird fungus species in Madagascar? Okay. Always think about exceptions. Okay. So it's a good way to do science. <coughs> Any questions about that? Okay. So the course is mostly lecture format, but we have a lot of discussion in it. Um, so we should have fundamental concepts of macroevolution and current areas of debate. And again, most, course, most, most lectures won't be this boring, but I just want to go through and make sure everyone knows what's on the, in the syllabus. Um, the who, what, where, etc. So we have various learning goals. Um, at this point, you should be able to do rote learning. Right? If I say, go home and learn about the three kinds of symbiosis, you should be able to go home and do it. Right? It's supposed to give you a link to information. Okay? But what's harder to do is sort of the testing ideas, fighting ideas, that sort of thing. We'll do that more in class. Okay? Um, but we also will be evaluating your process on the other kinds of learning. Okay. Um, one thing we're doing now at UT is talking about learning outcomes, and what, we're, what course is supposed to address with learning outcomes. So like, once you finish this, what should you be able to do? So you should understand evolution after taking macroevolution course. Okay. Um, you should be able to formulate hypotheses, um, interpret, interpret figures and diagrams, like phylogenies, and evaluate data and come to conclusions. Um, <coughs> now, one thing you need to do is know the names of organisms. If, I was, if you were to talk to someone about music and they said Elvis, you said Elvis who, or Lady Gaga who, right? People would say, you know, you, don't, you have no idea what you're talking about, right? Same thing with science. If someone says Geospeza, you shouldn't be like, what? What's that? She's like, oh yeah, of course, Darwin's finches. Those are great, and they're great. Blah, blah, blah. So, what we'll do is every day you're assigned to, to study one organism, one sort of sort of celebrity organism or clade in, in biology. You'll see that on the schedule at the end. Okay, and you can work together on this. You can have one person say, "I'll write the brief for this week, this, this day," and everyone, else, and you guys write the brief for the next day. That's fine. You can do it on your own. That's fine. I don't care how you learn it, but learn it. Okay, and what you should learn is what it is, why I think it's a celebrity, why I care about it. And also something about what it's related to. Okay. So if I asked you to draw a phylogeny with it on it, you should be able to do that. Okay. Are any questions about that? Yeah. Is that something that we should come to class already? Yep. Yep. But again, you can work together on it. Um, and on the website, there's a forum on Blackboard. So if you want to arrange on the forum, that's fine. Or just with your peers, that's fine. Or do it. But what happen, usually happens people work on the, on their own. Like they Google it with a Wikipedia and they're done. But something like that. Okay. So I'll be grading you a lot. I'm not grading you. I'm grading your writing, okay, or your presentation or something like that. So people often get defensive about being graded, which happens. And when you go into science, you'll find the same thing with peer review. We'll be reviewing your papers, and this is a complete waste of time. Reject. Okay. So it's good practice. Okay. I'll typically give you detailed comments on your writing, too. Um, I have a minimum length word count. Okay. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, 999 words. I'm not going to be that picky. Don't go too far over. Okay. So keep it in 25%. Um, don't do any funny formatting to try to fit it into some sort of page length. It's just based on word, word count. Okay, so no two-point font, no 18-point font. So pick the font. Um, papers and midterms will be turned into online at UTK, at online at UT. Um, so you don't have to worry about printing, that sort of thing. You can do it from home. Um, it'll check your work for possible plagiarism. Okay, and you'll see when you when you upload your work, you'll see a plagiarism score, and it might be greater than zero. Don't freak out. Okay, because if you have citations at the end those like, titles of journal articles match other things on the web because they're published journal articles. That's okay. But don't you know, plagiarize within the body of your text. If you have questions, just ask. Um, 
please, when you upload, turn in your work as plain text or RDF. Um, no Microsoft Word or ClarisWorks or OpenOffice or LibreOffice. Keep it simple, doc simple documents. If you can't for some reason, let me know. Okay. I've made a practice assignment, so those of you who don't know how to upload, you can do it ahead of time in a little practice box and it won't count for anything. So that way you don't, when, you're, when it's the deadline, you don't have to freak out about how to figure out how to, how to do it. You can just practice ahead of time. Um, if something goes wrong, so Blackboard something goes down, email me the paper to show it's on time, and it'll be fine. We'll be using any questions so far. Has have people used Blackboard before for uploading documents? Mm -hmm. we, we'll be using laptop for some work in class, so some analyses, some simulations. Um, if you have a laptop, you can bring it. Uh, you might want to preload it with R, which is a free soft, which is free software, or and processing, which is free software. Um, but you don't have to. And, and if we do use laptops, we'll have a laptop cart near the door. Just grab a laptop when you come in. Okay? And when you go back out, be sure to give, give it back to us. No still laptops. Um, I have a forum on Blackboard. If so you have a question about the course, post it there, and I'll, I get an email automatically. Um, and that way, if people have multiple people, people have the same question, we can all see the answer rather than having 15 emails come to me. Um, but if it's something that's better done individually, do email me. Okay. That's fine too. And again, use the forum for anything else. If you have quest if you want to talk to each other about something, that's it's for that too. That's fine. Um, attendance is expected at all classes. And we'll get to sort of how that's assessed later. Um, but you can miss a class due to illness, death of a family member, that sort of thing. Um, UT suggests if you have the flu, stay home. Right? Which makes sense. Um, so do, okay? And the grading system is set up so that this is possible without penalty, okay? Um, we have discussions in almost all the classes. Um, sometimes people are trying to just, like give me the right answer, the answer I want, okay? Don't do that, right? It's better if you advance the idea that you have, right? If I say sexual selection is important, you think it's not important, that's great. Talk about it, explain why. We can talk about that in class, okay? Another thing that happens is sometimes people don't answer at all. And what I will do in that case is just wait. Okay, I, I can just wait there for a few minutes, and eventually someone will break and start talking. Okay. <coughs> and at any point in class, ask questions. Um, we'll be using these clickers in class. Who hasn't used these before? Okay, let's see. Um, they're about 50 bucks, but you can use them in other classes. And they're handy because they, you, I, you can answer quizzes in class right away and it's graded automatically and uploaded. Okay. Um, if you don't have a class uh, clicker, please buy one by August 30th. Okay. Start bringing them to class. Any questions about clickers? Um, note that sometimes clicker questions won't have right answers. so. You know, sometimes it's a quiz like, you know, is Amborella a, you know, plant or a fungus or a vertebrate? And there's only one correct answer to that question, right? It could also be, you know, what do you think about X? And there might be multiple answers, and I will give you equal points for all the answers. Okay, and it'll be clear when I ask a question about which kind it is. Okay. Late work is penalized at 10% per day. Okay. Discrete time. So, you know. If you're one minute late, it's 10%. If you're 23 hours late, it's 10%. Okay? If you're 24 hours and one minute late, it's, 10, it's 20%. Okay? So, discrete chunks. Um, extensions are not normally granted. Some of the extraordinary circumstances, and having too much work is an extraordinary circumstance. Um, even if you're a week late, it still counts for something. Right? It's 10% per day. So, if it goes horribly and you're, it's going to be really late, still turn it in. Okay? Um, <coughs> my goal in this class is to help you learn, right? So I created this class. I think teaching a macro evolution is important, and I really want you guys to learn it. If something's interfering with your learning, or something I could do better to help you learn better, let me know. Okay? So you can tell me in class. You can email me. I've also made an anonymous feedback form on this site here, brandonmary.info/feedback, and you can go there and have a little form and tell me exactly what you think. It doesn't even track IPs. There's no way I can. There's no way I can figure out who it is. Okay, 
um, which include your name. So it's a good way to give me feedback during the course. So that way, you know, if it's something that can be better, you can let me know. Okay. Um, any student who feels he or she might need accommodation based on a disability should contact me and get some, docu doc get some documentation from the Office of Disability Services. Okay. If you do have a disability like that, do let me know. Um, this accommodation we can take, and it's better than having you have trouble learning. Okay. Um, all relevant university policies apply to this course. So basically, if the syllabus it disagrees with the university policy, they win. Right. Okay. okay, here's the schedule. <coughs> so we start off with sort of history of the planet. Okay, this is the data we have. Taphonomy. Labor Day. Jargon. So of course, a lecture just dedicated to jargon would be thrilling. Um, phylogenetics, which actually is thrilling. Uh, empirical distributions, um, speciation, extinction, and so forth through the semester. Okay? And over here you see the tax I want you to learn. Crinoids, archaea, delayed rotifers. Okay? So those of you who are in the field might say, oh yeah, of course, delayed rotifers. If you don't know that yet, that's fine, but you will. And you'll love their, their cute little things. Um, okay, we have a midterm. Uh, the midterm is a take home midterm. Okay. Um, it's distributed on the 4th, due on the 14th at 8 p.m. Okay. I did it at 8 p.m. so that way you don't do an all nighter. Maybe if you do it at all nighter, it's a really long all nighter. So it should be something where you can do most of the, day, the days leading up to it and just do some final tweaks after you go home. Okay. Rather than having to do it at 9 a.m. and having you start it at 5 p.m. the night before. Um, there's a paper, same thing, 8 p.m. Okay. Any questions? Oh, and one thing I like, oh, I like to have is free topics. So partway through the course, I'll start asking you what topics of macroevolution you really care about that aren't covered in the syllabus. Mm -hmm. okay. And then it can develop a lecture on those topics. Okay. So we passed someone like dinosaurs. We did dinosaurs. Someone like philosophy of science. We did philosophy of science. So just start thinking about what things you really care about that aren't covered here. We can talk about them in class. So question? Okay. Take a review. The final is at 8 a.m. I'm sorry. Um, this is based on the university schedule. Um, but that's when it is. Okay. Uh, the paper will be, the midterm is mostly sort of conceptual, I think, with some um, detailed content knowledge, the midterm, the, the final has more jargony things as well, okay? more rote knowledge on it, as well as the conceptual ideas. Any questions? No? Okay. okay, the thing that's important to the pre-meds, grading. Um, so, sorry, it's important to everyone. Um, I mean, it, help, it helps actually helps you know, motivate you to learn and helps me know how, how, how we're doing. Okay. So there's a topic review. So a thousand words including references. So cover, macro, cover a macro evolutionary question. What's known about it? What's the current state of work on it? And what might be done in the future? So cover all three things. Okay. Work should be individual on that. We're going to do a pair presentation. Okay. So, you know, slides at the end, with a short presentation. So imagine you're writing a grant, and someone can give you $15,000 or so to study a question. Okay. So you get to present what the question is and why it's worth $15,000 to study. Okay. Um, I don't need a detailed budget, but it's something that's sort of, I, don't, I also don't want, like, let's create a new planet and see my evolution on that. Let's be reasonable, okay? Um, <coughs> people, see, people seem to enjoy that. Um, and you can use whatever you want to present it, PowerPoint, Keynote, PDF, that's fine. Okay. 150 points are classwork. Okay, so, you know, a paper and a presentation are 100 points each, classwork 150 points. It's a lot of, a lot of points for that. Okay. That's mostly assessed using the clickers. Okay. Um, usually quizzes will not be announced in advance. So you'll come, and some days will be a quiz, some days there won't be. Partway through, a, partway through a lecture, I might have a question that you have to answer. Okay. Um, there are 180 points assigned and only 150 points graded. Okay. So what I do is drop the lowest quizzes such that you maximize your score. Okay. 
So this way, if you have to miss something due to illness, it's probably not going to affect your grade because those, those will be dropped anyway. Okay. And here's those sort of detailed information about the grading scheme. Any questions? Okay. Take home midterm. You cannot do you cannot work with your classmates or any other humans. No posting to a forum. Hey, I have a question about macroevolution. Who could help me? Okay, don't do that. Um, but you're welcome to use any other you know resource you want. So you can go to Wikipedia, which is a good resource, but good for a quick overview. You can go to the scientific literature, you can go to textbooks, that's all fine. Okay. Two hundred points, final exam. Um, similar to the midterm, but more rote knowledge. But there's no but you can't bring anything into the final exam. So you can't bring in Wikipedia printed out for the final. Um, you'll be given periodic articles to read in class as well, or at, at home, and then there might be quizzes on it. Okay, I won't do too many of those, but be ready for this. Um, at the end, I'll do a grading scale and give, give final grades. Um, here's what I gave last year, or rather what students earned last year. <coughs> um, just do a distribution on the cutoff. And this will be adjusted slightly so that this course is equivalent to previous courses. So if you get a you know a B plus this year, it's the same quality of work as someone who got a B plus last year. Okay, and also to make it comparable to other courses. So you can't have everyone here getting an A, nor everyone here getting an F. All right, so you have to adjust it so it's comparable to other foreign level courses. Okay. So that's the syllabus. Any questions? Or just you know round robin who are you know, sign sign people to do it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'll post the slides to my website and post the the lecture after the lecture to YouTube. Um, and actually, you can look on my website. There's previous iterations of the course, and you can see the slides from those iterations <coughs> ahead of time. And I'll be modifying those or making new slide decks, but it gives you a sense of what's coming up. Yeah? Yep. So, for example, the first one is crinoid. All right, so what's a crinoid? An animal, good. An echinoderm, right? What else? Yeah. See Lily? Yep. Good. They're important. They're very common in the fossil record. Okay. And that's about all you need to know. Okay. So a kind of derm. Um, you know, very important in the fossil record. Um, if you know something about how they feed, that'd be good, but it's not required. Okay. That sort of level of knowledge. Okay. Archaea. It's archaea. You're getting it. It's it's you bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. So if here's the phylogeny of all life. There's you bacteria here. And archaea and eukaryotes. Um, and Peter Lutz is all about you have a lot of things you brought on the screen too. Um, and so archaea are sister to eukaryotes. It used to be that Archaea and bacteria were all lumped as bacteria. Right? And the old discoveries in the 70s was that actually no, there's a reprint in the blood, two domains, and a few different So know about, you know, know that tree, and know that archaea are sort of are a different domain of life that aren't part of bacteria. Okay. They also tend to be extremophiles. <coughs> so those are the cool the cool microorganisms that live in hot vents or well, the lots of sulfur, that sort of thing, tend to be archaea. Okay. So that sort of level of detail. Okay. You don't need to know like a list of all the genera of archaea. You, know. uh, you don't need to know who Carl Woese was. I mean, that sort of thing, you don't need to know. Okay. Good question. 
Other questions? Yeah. No. In the past, if you want a book, um, there's a, a few books by Carl Zimmer that are good about evolution, and they have some good background information. Um, so you can buy those, but I didn't think it was worth the expense to have students buy them. Yeah. I know you list uh, the need to bring a laptop if possible. Yeah. Uh, are you going to give us like a heads up of Okay, I can. I usually don't, but I can do that. Would it, would it help others? Okay. All right, we'll do. Yeah, we have about 20 laptops, but they're oldish. And, yeah. it's old. Other questions? Oh, I mentioned I have, I have office hours on Monday. Um, if you want to meet me at a different time, that's fine. Um, on my website, there's actually a calendar, so you can see when I'm busy and when I'm available. Um, do shoot me an email so that I know you're coming, and we can make sure I confirm it. Maybe I have you know, doctor's appointment or something on my free time, but you know, you can, but you can see that way you can see when, when, when we're both free. Here's that long wait time thing I was talking about. Are there other questions? Okay, great. Um, feel free to bring, if you want to record lectures or anything like that, that's fine too, of course. Um, but yeah. All right, great. Well, I'll see you all on Friday.